Hi unicorns! I'm Pamela, the creator of the Crystal Unicorn Tarot and Unicorn Life Coach. In this video, I will be sharing my tarot spell that I created to have a positive, strong boundary uh, in your life like the queen in the tarot decks. So, but before we start, make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my unicorn channel so that you can get your monthly astro readings and expand your magical energy with me. All right, so I am the queen of having great boundaries. Other people have told me that I set great boundaries with people uh, spiritually and physically. So they have my students, my clients, and my friends have asked me, how do you do this? What do I do? So I've created this spell. This spell just came to me. And so I wanted to share it with all of you. All right, so I want to work with the queens in the tarot deck in this spell because a lot of females do have trouble setting boundaries because they do want to nurture and take care of others, right? And on we're natural mothers, well, most of us are. Uh, and on top of that, some of us have been conditioned to, you know, be a good wife, listen to your partner, and say yes to things as we were growing up. So that kind of gets stuck in your unconscious. So a uh, setting, so that. That, but that also leads us to too much saying yes, right? And letting our energies go. And it's very important for you to have that feminine energy of the queens, but also know when and where to set your boundaries and how to set your boundaries so that you can be the queen of your life and feel good, right? Setting boundaries is so important because when you don't, your energy gets drained, right? You're giving so much energy to other people, you don't have enough for yourself. And then when you don't have enough for yourself, what happens? You don't live to your highest potential, you're not honoring yourself, and you're not being, you can't be authentic. So you can't claim your birthright, and when you let others, you know, drain your energy, they're taking advantage of you, which you might be giving it to them. So we want to set positive, clear, strong boundaries. And boundaries will be different for everyone, Right, you have to ask what boundaries are are truly you, are authentic to you, what boundaries you connect with, how you're going to show up, what kind of relationship do you want, right? And you have to, you have to be clear on that, right? So let's take a look at now because you will be needing this for your spell. Do you have good boundaries, right? With your, maybe with your work and career, with your love life, with your friends, with your families. Go ahead and if you want to pause this video and see, rate, rate your boundaries from one to 10 from um, one, I don't have boundaries, I say yes to everybody, I give them all my time, to 10, I have amazing boundaries. I know when to give, when, you know, when not to give and I honor myself. So go ahead if you want to pause the video now and um, rate your boundaries. All right, so for this spell, you will be picking one of the boundaries to work with. So, I mean, you can do it over and over again, but I would probably focus on one boundary a month at least, maybe even three months, right, if it's a big part of your life. But go ahead and pick, you know, is work relationship, friends, um, work career, I mean, friends, family, or love relationship that you want to work on today, right? All right. And these are some of the magical tools that you need for the spell. I kept it very, very, very simple, right? So first, uh, you do need a black candle. And the reason why I chose black is for protection. So you just want like a little candle like this. I got it from Amazon or you can get it from um, my friend and student Christina's site. I will put the link below. It shouldn't be anywhere. It's like a dollar or you can get it at your site. Um, I do have this little super cute candle holder that I put it on, but if you don't have a candle holder, that's okay. What you do is you take your lighter, which that you need, you light it, and you drip a little bit of a wax onto your plate, and then you can go ahead and put it on, and it won't move, okay? So you want a little one because you're going to be burning the candle one time for your spell. So you don't want a huge ass candle that you have to sit for hours and hours and watch it until it burns out, right? <laughs> so just a little one is fine. We are going to need salt. So you can use regular salt, you can use pink Himalayan salt, you can use sea salt, you can use Japanese black sea salt, you can use whatever salt you want, we just need salt. And you need paper and pen or pencil and sage 
and crystals is optional. I will give you uh, some of the crystals that you can work with throughout this um, that I really like for boundaries. And of course, you will need a queen tarot card, right? So I will be showing you from my crystal unicorn tarot um, these queens and what they can mean. So you can use any queen that you connect with from any deck, okay? So first, if you want to work with desire, career, work, passions, and you're not honoring your desires because you don't have time for it, or, um, you know, then the boundaries at work or your career, you would be choosing the queen of wands to work with, okay? So you'd be choosing the queen of wands to work with. If you are, you know, being drained mentally and or if others are stealing your ideas or words hurt you or you are like talked out of your own beliefs or, you know, you think there's a psycho vampire or if there's like ghosts and spirits that, you know, are coming um, and bothering you, you're not setting good spiritual magical boundaries, then you would be using the Queen of Swords because she deals with um, the realm of, you know, psych psychic air um, of the mind um, and if you are having boundaries with money with resources with material things then you would be um, playing with the queen of pentacles right so if you are lending other people money uh, a lot and they're not paying you back or something like that that's a good example um, if you are not setting boundaries in your relationships, in families, maybe in your love relationships, then you can, or any relationship, you can use the Queen of Cups. If you're emotionally giving up too much, you know, um, you're giving so much time and energy and love and you're not receiving that back, right? Um, you can use the Queen of Cups. Now, it, when we when we do, uh, just a warning, when we do this, you know spell you will be letting go of things you will be detoxing so drink a lot of water before and after and during the spell um i just want to let you know that there might be things that things or people that you will be cutting out because you're letting it go and they are not needed in your life so be aware of those it could be small changes it could be big changes so just be aware of that okay just a warning all right, so the first thing that you should do, step one, is to cleanse and sage or sacred place. So find a space that you will be um, having this, um, creating this spell. So it could be a table, it could be, you know, somewhere in your room, in the living room, someplace that won't be disturbed for seven days. And also, um, if you want to stand your card up, you can get like a tarot stand thing which I will include the link. Ooh, it needs a table though. So a tarot, um, a tarot stand. This is Jamie Sawyer's. I will include the link below. It's super cute when you just sit it on the table like this, right? You don't need to, but you can if you want to, or you can just lay your card down as we get to it. Okay, so, and we have our boundary that we want to work with, right? So create, have your sacred space, a table, a work area, whatever you want to. Um, someplace that this spell won't be disturbed for seven days. And then go ahead and set up your card. So either on this or lay it on the table and it would be in the center. You can have um, your crystal in front of it and then have your candle in front of your card. So if this was your card on the table, have your candle right here. And then you're going to, after you sage, you're going to light your candle. And then I want you to write down your paper what you, where you are lacking in boundaries as the past tense. So I was, you know, wherever you're lacking. And how it made you feel emotionally and physically what it's costing you to, you know, not saying no to people or letting people take advantage of you. And um, if you have that, you can pause right now to write it down before we go into the next step, right? And if you just want a little bit more sparkles, go ahead and pop it below and tell me where you are stuck or where you're lacking and I'll go ahead and send you some magic, okay? I will definitely do it with every one of you. All right. And so now you're going to, we're going to really connect with your queen, 
whoever your queen is, right? So you've picked your queens, we're going, and it's sitting in the center of, you know, your spell. We're going to connect with this queen. So we're going to do just a really quick meditation connecting with the queen, and she's going to give you a gift that you can bring back to help you set this amazing boundary. Okay, so if you just wanna go ahead and sit back, lie down, and relax, make note that your candle is still lit, right? And just close your eyes and take a deep breath in and exhale and another deep breath in and exhale Now take a deep breath in through your heart all the way up to the top of your head and exhale back out through your heart one more time, in through your heart, all the way up, and exhale back out through your heart. And just feel a warm, loving energy coming down your head, relaxing your face, letting go of all the tension in your shoulders. Relaxing your body and your arms, your fingers, having this warm, loving, healing energy flow down your legs, down your feet, and all the way into the ground. Now I want you to see these numbers followed by colors in your mind. I want you to see the number seven and then the color red. See the number six and the color orange. Now see the number yellow and the number five and the color yellow. And now the, the number four, the color green. See the number three and light blue. Now see the number two and the indigo color. See the midnight sky. Now see the number one and the color of an orchid. You can see the orchid. And now you are in a deep magical state. And when I count from 10 to one, you will be in an even deeper magical state. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, going deeper, four, three, two, and one. Now imagine in your mind's eye that you are in a big, beautiful meadow. It's very open, full of green grass and flowers and a bright blue sky. Now off in the distance, you will see a figure walking up to you. It is your queen that you have chosen to work with. And see her walk up to you slowly. What does she look like? What does she smell like, sound like, or feel like? As you say hi and greet her and give her a big hug. And just let her know why you are here and what boundaries you need to work with or you need help with. And know that your queen has a gift for you. Ask her, what gift is she offering you to help you set your boundaries? And see her pull a gift out of her dress to give you. What is the gift that she gave you in your hands? What are you holding? What does it feel like? Or maybe it's just a flash of sound or words or phrases. What is her gift to you? And how does this gift make you feel? How will this help you step into her energy to set positive boundaries, right? What do you need to do? Now take a deep breath in through your heart and put this gift into your heart space. 
Imagining it flowing in your body, your mind, body, and soul. It is now with you. And I want you to imagine yourself being this queen, feeling this gift, embodying this gift, knowing how to set boundaries and how to do it. And I want you to watch a scene being played out with you as a star. When something is calling to you to set boundaries in this scene, something is happening, someone is approaching you, how are you setting your boundaries? What are you saying? What are you, you know, what do you hear from them? What are they saying to you? How do you feel as you set your boundaries in this scene? Right? It could be with someone that is currently, you know, overstepping their boundaries with you. How do you feel being this new person, this new unicorn queen, knowing how to set your boundaries? How does it feel saying no or telling them what you need, having amazing boundaries? Let that soak in and know that that's who you are right now. Now come back to with the queen and thank her so much for helping you out and know that you can call upon this energy anytime you need to set boundaries. And let's wave goodbye to her as she goes back to into the field. And let's count back from one to seven without singing the colors. One, two, three, four, five, coming up slowly, six, and seven. And now when you awake, you will feel more amazing than ever, full of confidence, and know how to set your boundaries. And let's come back to our physical body and open our eyes. All right, now I want you to grab your journal or that piece of paper. And I want you to write your Boundary Queen adventure on what you felt and what you witnessed. Write down whatever comes to you first, whatever comes to your mind first. And you can read it and research it and go over it later. But for now, just write down whatever comes to you first, right? And now if you need time to do so, go ahead and pause it and just gently gaze at your uh, queen card and your candle burning while you do this. All right, and now that you have came back from writing in your journal, I want you to take that paper that you wrote on what you were lacking in boundaries. And I want you to just like rip it up, rip it up. And I want you to sprinkle this in a circle around your card. So if your card and candle is here, sprinkle this in a circle around your card. Now I want you to take your salts, pour some on your hand, and I want you to sprinkle a protective circle over the ripped paper and around your cards three times. And as you sprinkle this, say to yourself, I protect myself from taking the negative energy and burden of others. I am confident and strong. I know what I want and I know what I can give. The boundaries I set are the highest and best for me. And so it is. All right. And after you're done, go ahead and let your candle burn out. And if you can, leave this set up for seven days. And every day of the seven days, I want you to come back in your journal or on a piece of paper or on your phone if you want to type it or voice memo and sit with your queen card and journal on it. How does it make you feel? Are you embodying this energy? What message does your queen have for you today? How can she help you sparkle? And 
even journal on the wins that you have with boundaries. The first time that you said no, that you honored yourself, that you put yourself first, right? So write down everything in this journal. You can do it mornings, you can do it at night. I feel best when I journal in the morning and reflect on my day and night. So it is totally up to you. This is your spell. This is your ritual. Make it as personable as you can. And again, make sure to drink lots of water before and after the spell. You will be alchemizing, you'll be detoxing, letting go of old crap and transforming into the new, you know, queen boundary unicorn you. And after the seven days, on the eighth day, you can go ahead and toss your salt into the yard, into, you know, into the ground, give it back to Mother Earth, but make sure that the paper is thrown away and that you are not littering. And you can go ahead and put your um, tarot card back into the deck, or um, I always... Uh, as a tip, tarot tip, tarot spell tip, I have decks that I only use for spells so that I can still use my tarot cards in the meantime. All right. And I told you that I, I will give you optional crystals. So uh, you can also work with lapis lazuli throughout this process. So it really helps you get clear and have wisdom on what you want. So getting clear of what your boundaries is, right? What boundaries you need to set. And pyrite is also a really good stone for setting money boundaries and protective stone. Malachite is a very, it's a green stone, it's a very healing stone. And it's all, all about transforming, healing, movement. Um, we're, we're just letting go of the toxic stuff and healing and um, being able to move forward, right? Letting go of what we don't need. Um, black tourmaline is also a very good stone for protection, for grounding. Just like clear quartz, it can really help you get clear, have clarity on what you want to let go of, what your boundaries are, and what you need to call in, right? And just so you know, like the spell, the spell alone won't change, like it won't change your life. You also need to couple it with action, right? So you need to take action and really, you know, take action out there and really do it. Step into this new you and take action of setting the boundaries and practice, right? Uh, you might not get it the first time, but as you keep building up your boundary wall, um, you will see yourself change. All right, and so that is it for now. That is your amazing queen boundary spell, and I hope I hope you loved it. I hope it helped you. Let me know if it did in the comments below. Come back, tell me what you did. Tell me if it worked, and if you want to share pictures of your spell, of your ritual in your social media, go ahead and tag me at Pamela Unicorn. All of all the links and stuff will be in the details below, and um. I would love to see it, and if you need help with the meditation on what you saw and what gift you got, words, whatever, go ahead in the Crystal Unicorn Land group and uh, tag me in the Facebook group, and I will help you out there. Just let me know what you got, your reflections on it. So I always want to know what you think first because this is about your journey, and then I will help you from there. So the links are below to the Facebook group. And yeah, that's it, unicorns, for now. I hope you have a magical, magical spelling time, and I hope you sparkle on. Bye, unicorns.